Hi everyone, this is Len from USource and today we'll be looking at the decorated design pattern. Um, the decorated pattern is a gang of four pattern and in my opinion it's one of the easiest to learn of the gang of four patterns and since you'll use it a lot um, it's a very useful pattern to learn. Uh, its intent is basically to add responsibilities dynamically and in a similar way you can also use it as a very clean alternative to subclassing. Um, for me the easiest way to remember on how to implement the decorated pattern is to look at this as a wrapper. So basically you wrap your original code uh, into a new class, the decorator. And since you implement the same methods, you now have the liberty to add before and after behavior uh, to those methods. Um, I do think though that the easiest way to, to learn this is to have a look at the code sample. In the system that we're uh, using to demonstrate the decorator pattern, let's imagine we have an uh, interface there called iModem, and that modem declares the method uh, send, which as you can imagine sends data over some connection to the other side. Now, uh, for the decorator pattern to work, we need an implementation of that as well. So let's say we have a modem that implements that same interface and um, you can imagine that it, again that it, this one sends data over the connection. Now, um, let's say this is already a working system. This modem uh, has been sending data over the connection uh, for a while, and your boss gives you a new requirement, and it is I want you to actually log that data uh, to the console. Um, there's three ways to implement that. Uh, one is the bad way and implement it uh, immediately in the class that's already in, pr in production. So it obviously kind of breaks the solid principles to add behavior here. Um, the other alternative is to actually add a derived class or a derived from modem, call it logging modem, override the send method, which is actually not possible at the moment. Let me, should be possible now. Oh, sorry. Should be possible now. And uh, the third alternative is to implement that safe be same behavior in a decorator. Uh, since this video is about that, that's what we're going to do. So also for that, I need to implement a new class. I call that logging modem, and it implements the same abstraction. Implement this one, modem. Um, now, in order to be able to uh, decorate the original behavior, we, we want to look at this as a wrapper. So how we do that, we take in the original uh, implementation in the constructor. You could do this in a public setter method, uh, which, uh, which would work just as well. Personally, I think this is a little bit cleaner and easier to control because uh, I can just put a guard statement around it. Um, store that here. So what we've done here now, uh, you can imagine that the one that's being passed in here is the original implementation that already sends data over the connection. And uh, this one, the, the logging modem is going to be used in place of the original modem. So now when the send method gets called, we still want the system to send the data. However, we now have the liberty to here add before or after behavior. Uh, so now here we can say just uh, log the actual data. Um, just encoding that. So simple as that. Um, yeah, again, uh, the same uh, results could have been achieved by subclassing from modem. However, this one is a little bit cleaner uh, because uh, this one is easier to test because I can just implement a little stop here for this modem and the entire class has been, uh, yeah, it's basically been isolated from uh, the, the original's modem implementation. So it would be easy for me to just see if this line is called and uh, that way test uh, that there's actually um, data on the console. Um, also, this implementation um, follows the, yeah, it's also again the open close principle in the solid principles, but you basically use, uh, you favor uh, composition over inheritance and that's actually what you what you do here so yeah those are two benefits to this implementation the other one is nothing wrong with though but uh, yeah in terms of maintain uh, maintainability uh, I would favor this solution um, thanks for watching uh, please share the video comment on it let me know how you use it uh, and if you have any questions I'll be more than happy to answer it as well thanks for watching